Rocky, you're on the outside. How did that happen? How you, what are you gonna do? I can use a watering can and it just makes it much easier to fertilize the plants than having to bend down and work it into the soil every single time. And here are our kiwi vines. I'm just gonna be putting some of this around the base of the plants here. Rocky is fertilizing it in his own way. Rocky, I don't pee on the trees. Hello, hello. It's Crystal. I'm Steve. And we are going to do some gardening super fast because it's our favorite way to do it now. What's today's date? The 29th. April. So it is April 29th, 2023. And it's Saturday and we are in between rain spells right now. It's been raining all day. Steve threw down some grass seed in our yard and he also put out some more winter rye seed for the goats while it was raining this morning. We wanted to fertilize everything before we got rain, but we just we didn't get around to it yesterday. So we're doing it now and we're gonna do it as fast as possible. The things that we're gonna be fertilizing today are the fruit trees, the garlic, the shallots, and all the berry plants. The fertilizer we're using today is all granular fertilizer that we will be top dressing all of the plants with. Tree Tone, Garden Tone, and Berry Tone. Espoma is not the only brand of fertilizer that we use, but that is what we are using today. All Steve is doing is just sprinkling some of the granular fertilizer around the base of the tree. This is not the best way to do it. The best way to do it is to get it, work it into the soil so that it actually gets in around it. And then as it rains, it will wash the fertilizer down around the roots of the tree. Rocky is fertilizing it in his own way. Rocky, you don't pee on the trees. And the apple trees that we're growing are two Cortland, one Granny Smith, one homegrown Gala. We don't know what that will be. A Dwarf Red Delicious and a crab apple tree. All right. The rain will soak it down. Normally I would suggest doing a little bit more than what we're doing. We have a full bag of tree tone in our basement. We just bought a huge bag of it. We just didn't feel like opening it right now. So we're using the one that we have open. And our cherry tree. And the cherry tree is a Stella cherry tree. These are our pear trees. We have a moon glow and Bartlett pear. We have two different types of strawberries. These are a quinault variety, they're ever bearing, so they start producing in June and then they'll continue to produce until it starts to get cold out. Right here we have the June bearing all-star variety of strawberries. They do, nah, they're okay. In their defense, I've only grown them in this container, so I don't really know. From our experience in this container, they're usually pretty small and they don't really produce much. They mostly produce runners, but that's just our experience. We're using the organic berry tone. It's just a granular fertilizer. We'll be putting it at the top of the garden bed and kind of just working it into the soil. It's gonna be raining all weekend. We were hoping to have this done before the weekend, but here we are doing garden things as fast as possible. These are the raspberries and blackberries. We had bought those bare roots. Actually, I had already done these. I already fertilized these when I was cleaning out our greenhouse and there was berry tone in there. I dumped it all around these, so this should be fine. And here's our blueberry bushes. Absolutely beautiful out today. <laughs> Not really. And here are our kiwi vines. We're just gonna be putting some of this around the base of the plants here.
And now we are over here by the garlic, shallots, and onions. I usually use garden tone when I'm fertilizing the garlic and it's worked out well for us. All we're gonna be doing is top dressing around each of the plants and then working it into the soil. And we're gonna do that all the way around. And then next month when we fertilize again, I'll be using a liquid soluble fertilizer up until we harvest them. Here's what the garden tone looks like. I have an enormous bag in our basement that's too much to carry. So I just refill these containers to make it easier to carry around. These containers make it really easy to just pour it around the base of the plant. Then I can sneak in there and work it in the soil. Alrighty, well that was fun. Pretty sure I inhaled half of the fertilizer. So yeah, that's how we fertilize a lot of our plants when it's late spring-ish, kind of late April. It's pretty easy. We try and make sure we do it before it rains so that the rain can wash in all of the granular fertilizer into the plants. I'll use like the garden tone and tomato tone and things for the other plants. And then the stuff like the berries I might throw in some berry tone in the fall time but they should be good for the rest of the year. The garlic and the shallots and onions and things, I'll use a water soluble fertilizer. So when that mixes into water, I can use a watering can and it just makes it much easier to fertilize the plants and having to bend down and work it into the soil every single time. Rocky, you're on the outside. How did that happen? How you, what are you gonna do? You gotta go around. All right, Rocky, the wind is helping you out and knocking the fencing down. Go ahead. All right, so that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.